The U.S. is targeting the advance of the Islamic State militant group. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Lee Hawkins. U.S. jet fighters are hitting artillery being used by the group in northern Iraq. It's the first of what is expected to be a series of strikes to halt the extremist advance on the Kurdish capital. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said the U.S. F-18 jet fighters are dropping 500-pound laser-guided bombs on mobile artillery positions outside Erbil. Officials are saying it's too soon to tell if the current campaign will last weeks or days, but say that more U.S. jet fighter attacks will occur, possibly as early as this weekend. McDonald's is reporting its worst monthly global same-store sales in more than 10 years amid a meat supplier scandal in China and continued weakness in the United States. Global sales are 2.5 percent lower this month, far worse than expected. The biggest drop is in the Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa region where sales are down 7.3 percent compared to analysts expectations of a drop of a half a percent. More than two dozen state attorneys general are urging the Food and Drug Administration to regulate electronic cigarettes more closely. The restrictions they are calling for include a ban on flavors and stiff marketing restrictions. The curbs they're calling for are even tougher than those proposed in April by the FDA, which plans to prohibit the sale of battery-powered devices to anyone under 18. Currently, the FDA isn't banning advertising internet sales, candy, or fruit flavors. For more and to follow these stories, tune in to WSJ Live or log on to WSJ.com. I'm Lee Hawkins.